altogether, 1960 to 1979, just 19 years. Unfortunately, every other administration that came after that and through to this moment is hovering around that cycle called 19. And we should get this right. Because when you have patriots assembled together and ready to take giant strides to make meaningful activities in the life of their country, particularly what does deal of living legacies for the younger ones, what they must know is the truth about the position of that country. We shouldn't get ourselves afraid to speak the truth. After all, nobody can erase history. What has happened yesterday is fully documented. The only issue here is people who indulge into erasing B and adding C to suit personal interests, greed. Now let me prove to us that this 19 years was what we repeated between 1979 to 1999 in a different fashion. In 1979 to 1984, January 1st, Shagari came with the spirit of yesterday's UP, NPN and the NPP or NCNC. They operated in the same manner. It was a reassemblage of friends, of brothers and sisters and political associates. And then just like it happened in the First Republic, President Zik, was removed by General Ironsi from Northeast, Southeast, President then, and a general from Southeast. And so in Shagari's case, from Northwest, and General Buhari then from Northwest, removed him. And the same class, and the same approach of governance was what repeated itself. When General Buhari then, as head of state, was there, he served for one year, six months. Ironsi served six months. Ironsi was removed by General Gawan from North Central. And then also when another cycle came, General Babangida removed General Buhari from the same North Central. In that the first 19 years, General Gawan spent nine years, and nobody spent as much time from North Central. Also in the second line, General Babangira spent eight years, and nobody spent as much as it is. The pattern of administration by General Gawan was the pattern of administration of General Babangira. The same associates, the same approach, the same issues of transition, transition, transition to Gawan was the same issue of transition, transition to General Babangira. Then Mursala came from Kano, took over from General Gowan from Kano State. In the second cycle also, even though there was an arrangement of ING, it was shortly three months because there was no foundation laid for it in the first 19 years. General Bacha, just like Mursala from Kano. Mursala from Kano. And Mursala came, and this is the emphasis I'm going to make so that we can shorten our time. Mursala from Kano State, Northwest, came to Ogun State and picked General Obasanjo. General Abacha from Kano State came to Ogun State and picked Oladi Podia. That's the second cycle. And pattern of administration was the same. If Mursala had lived longer than the six months he has had, he was to be hated or even more than that of General Abacha. And that's the truth about the country. Let's look at the third layer so that we can now conclude and we can dwell on what I believe are my messages to be delivered. The first layer started with an evil man, President Erosi. The second layer of 19 years started with a house man, Shagari, from Northwest. And the third layer, this is where we are. It started with a Yoruba man, President Obasanjo. It is not by sheer coincidence. No, time, events, and destiny are rolling, and we are acting. It's left for us to seize control. 
and now know that positive thinking and action are what is required of citizenry. President Obasanjo has had his tenure in full, unlike the first two, because we are in a new era and season where democracy has permeated. The second layer was President Eradua from Katina. Just if you look at the above cycle, just like Buhari from Katina, just like Ironsi in terms of pattern of administration. Look at this trend. General Ironsi had six months. In the second layer, President Buhari had one and a half years. But in the third layer, because it is progressive, this, the third layer had who? President Eradua with three years. And it's not by coincidence. In his own case, it was nature that took him away. The one with longest time was or is General Obasanjo or President Obasanjo. But if you look at the pattern of administration of the circumstances that brought them to power, is similar to that of Gawam, is similar to that of Babangira, just as Jonathan has had it. General Gawam from minority, head of state, Babangira from minority, head of state, President Jonathan from minority, president. Then after him, here we are. Look at this irony. Under this column, today's dispensation is that of President or General Mursala, then General Abacha. Today, President Buhari, President Buhari from Northwest Katina State. He also, like Mursala and like Abacha, came to the same open state and picked Professor Yoni Oshibaju. Whether this was coincidence or not, So when we sit down to look at who we were, who we are, and who we should be seen to be, we should also understand that nature has rules that it is playing upon us. The test of man, man's desire, his ambition, being complemented by destiny, that is events by nature, are the forces propelling this country.